Hi, this is Brian with ActiveMelody.com. In this week's micro lesson, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to introduce a boogie woogie blues style into your rhythm playing. It's a lot of fun to do, and it works on an acoustic or electric guitar. In this video, I'll show you how to play everything, but if you'd like a little more information, like the tablature and the slow walkthrough video, you can get that by going to ActiveMelody.com slash micro and doing a search for ML036. Alright, so the good thing about this is that once you have the right hand strum pattern down, it stays constant throughout. So as the chords change with the left hand, the right hand keeps doing the same thing. Now here's how we're going to start it. We're going to start by getting a, a rhythm going like this. And it, if you'll listen to that, that's and I'm not playing any notes, I'm just muting the strings here with my left hand. But I want you to get this groove going. It sounds like a drummer. You've got a kick drum and a snare. Kick, snare, kick, snare. That's what it sounds like to my ear. And so the kick would be on the fifth string. So you're just playing the, uh, it's the muted fifth string right now. And then you're playing the snare, which is a brush across the middle four strings. You don't have to be super accurate. You're just trying to get this sound going. So the way that you'd count this would sound like this. One and two and three and four and. So you can see that every time I'm saying and, I'm playing the brush across the middle strings. That would be your snare. And every time I'm counting a number, one, two, three, I'm playing the fifth string. Now that's just to get the groove going. So let's just practice that first, going like this. Okay, now once you're comfortable with that, we're gonna go ahead and make an A chord here. We're gonna bar the first four strings on the second fret, and we're gonna play like this. So it's down, 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 down. Now notice I'm not letting that chord ring out. Watch what I'm doing with my left hand to mute that. You can see my hands coming on and off the fretboard there, pinching it and releasing it. So now that we have that down, let's introduce the bass notes, which will give it that boogie woogie feel. It's going to sound like this. And there's so many variations you can do on this and really start to have fun with it. But let's learn this one. So we're going to keep the bar down the whole time so that A chord stays down. We're starting on the fifth string, the open fifth string. And then my middle finger will go down on the third fret fifth string. And then my ring finger goes down on the 4th fret 5th string, and when that happens, I'm going to brush the middle 4 strings again to give it that uh, brush sound or the, uh, the snare drum sound. That happens on the AND. So it goes like this. Okay, now continuing with the downstrokes, we're on the 4th string now. It's behind this bar here. And then there's another strum. And then my ring finger goes down on the 4th fret 4th string. Playing that note, and then another strum. And that's really the groove. Let me back up, let me do that slowly. It sounds like this. And then loop it. The important thing is to keep that bass snare groove going with your right hand. Now, to get to the four chords, that's the one chord. I did this little walk up that goes and that's just walking straight up. We have the A chord, we go to the B chord, I go up to a C chord, and then I go up to a C sharp. That's all I'm doing. And I'm just playing string five and then the brush. Five, brush, five, brush, and then go to the four chord, which will be a D chord. So the walk up sounds like this. And remember that, that's a great way to get from the one chord to the four chord. If you're ever improvising or you're writing your own music, uh, you're really copying what a bass player would do to go up to that four chord. Okay, so once we get to the four chord, that's a D chord. Now I'm not going to use my middle finger. I'm going to make the D chord, but I'm going to take my middle finger off because I'm going to need that to do the little boogie woogie bass part. It, it follows exactly what we did over the A chord. So remember that, it was on strings five and four. This time it's gonna be on strings four and three. Same frets. So you're playing that open fourth string, doing the brush. Middle finger goes down on the third fret fourth string. Pinky goes down on the fourth fret fourth string. So it sounds like this. Okay, now we're gonna come up to the uh, third string, and I'm keeping this little D chord shape down here with these two fingers the whole time. So it's the third string, it's actually behind the second fret there. Then my pinky goes down on the third string, 
fourth fret. And I strum strings four, uh, four, three, and two. So all together, that D part goes like this. And then just loops. Now we're back to the A. Now what do we do over the E chord, or the five chord? The exact same thing. That's a nice thing about this. It's the same pattern. We're just gonna drop it down so that we're now playing the low sixth string, or the E note. And then we're going to do the same fretting here uh, as we did over the A. So that'll be the uh, middle finger on the third fret, sixth string. Ring finger comes down to the fourth fret, sixth string. So it goes. And this time when I'm doing the brush part or the snare part, I'm just doing strings six, five, and four. And notice I've got my bar down there, a bar in the first five strings now on the second fret. So it sounds like this. Then I come up to the second fret, fifth string. And then ring finger goes up to the 4th fret, 5th string. So all together the E part sounds like this. And I just do it once, go back to the 4 chord. And then back to the A, or the 1 chord. So I walked it all the way up. That time I came up and stopped there on the 3rd string, 2nd fret. Took, and then I played the 5 chord which is just an E7 chord. There's your E chord, put your pinky down on the third fret, second string. And once we make the E7 chord, and strum it a few times, we just loop it from there, all the way back to the one chord. 